Hey guys, Paul here, taking apart some older electronics devices as an educational project to learn about electronics and circuit board components. So first let's check out some components on this mini uh, video cam. See the camera right there? And this is the video cable, just like on your computer that attaches to the printed circuit board. Got a lithium ion battery here. And I'm gonna be bringing you guys in closer here with the triplet loop. These triplet loops are really helpful. You can see the positive and negative terminal on the battery there. Red for positive and black for negative. The micro SD card slot. Some of this stuff is pretty easy to identify. Got your USB connection here. These are really good for identifying components. You can put these words and numbers into Google, and that's actually 64 megabit memory um, SD RAM, which the processor uses. The blob of epoxy there is um, covering the microprocessor or the brain behind this um, device. Those small yellow squares you see are the capacitors, and capacitors store electricity. The black um, squares next to the capacitors are the resistors, and they control the flow of voltage so that the circuit does not get overloaded. This little round device on the bottom here is the microphone to this camera. And there's the back side of the microphone. These three black squares we see on top here are the transistors, which amplify the electric flow throughout the circuit board. And again, we see a matrix of resistors in black, the tiny black squares, with a couple capacitors in there as well. Moving on to the back side, see a couple large capacitors there. And actually, Googling this wind bond um, square right there and that part number, that's actually the flash RAM memory. That is memory that is stored when the device is turned off. So that flash memory chip um, has the software or instructions. Now that's in contrast to the Samsung chip on the other side. Okay, that is um, memory that is not stored. That just runs the processor and tasks associated with the processor. Whereas this flash RAM, this wind bond chip, is stored memory. These two cylinders on the back side here house crystals, which are used as oscillators to control the processor clock. Now this camera is powered by USB or by um, one AA battery in that tube there. This is the battery um, contact here. The positive end connects right in here, the positive end of the battery. And you can see these are labeled this, the C2 is a capacitor. You can see again with the yellow square, a resistor R1 next to it. Q1 is a transistor. Qs can often be labeled, um, or resistors can be labeled Q oftentimes. The one next to it there. And transistors is gonna take three or more contacts on a circuit board, whereas diodes are going to take two um, contacts. Now, for example, here on the other side, the side that actually connects to the device there, you can see right there, D1 is a diode. And there's two connection points you can see on the diode. See that? As opposed to three for the transistor. We've got a copper uh, coil inductor here, which is used for filtering. In this case, um, suppressing the noise um, or electrical charge from 
alternating to direct current or AC to DC. So that is in electronics that's um, referred to as noise. The inductor is used to filter that because we are converting the alternating current of the battery to direct current going into the device. This was my first Samsung phone. It had a um, Chinese type Android copy operating system. So this gives us a lot to look at. First, this area in here had this plate over it. And you can see all these little screws here. I'm gonna point out some of the screws to take off here. This one right here, here. And again, this, um, this small tool is, is really good for taking out those screws, but you have to take off all these screws to even get in here. And then this plate, um, which covers the brains of the computer or the phone, is right here. And by now, you should recognize that video cable coming out there. And you can see that that would snap right down in here if we were to put this back together just like that here that snap so that comes out of the um, display but to analyze this circuit board I'm going to take off that video cable there's a speaker right there and the microphone is down here you can see that corresponds to the bottom of the phone so the microphone is right here and it's housed in a rubber um, kind of gasket in there. A lot of capacitors, resistors down here in black. And also what you can do is Google um, these the names of some of this stuff. For example, this area of the circuit board, this arrow um, chip here is a transceiver. Um, this is used to send and receive signals, uh, whether it be Wi-Fi signal or um, cell phone signal, that's used to send and receive the signals transmitter. Also, this Avago chip here next to it, next to the arrow chip, the Avago is a radio frequency or RF amplifier. Now, on newer Samsung phones, this larger chip right here, I'm going to zoom you in close here, this P4 chip here, this would most likely be labeled a Samsung or Intel chip. Identifying electrical components on your older devices, printed circuit boards, it's a lot of fun. It's really educational. And the diodes that I mentioned before on the back of that battery attachment, um, diodes are like a one-way valve. The electricity can only move in one direction, so that would be helpful on that battery attachment, converting the alternating AC current to DC direct current, and that is a one-way train out of there, out of that battery into the device. So that's where your diode comes in handy. Please give this video a thumb up. would be great to have you on board as a subscriber to my channel. Share it with your friends. And thanks for watching.